Messenger, what's up? This is your boy Joshua Sprague. So, last night I was at yoga and I did this new type of yoga that I'd never done before. I can't even remember what the name of it. It's like Kurashi or something like that. And it's a lot of breathing and flow and all this different kind of stuff. Much more like spiritually based yoga. So anyway, I, I'm going through yoga and we're doing this one particularly challenging pose where you've got to like stand in this like frog-like position and then squat up and down while your hands are on the ground and your heels are off the ground and you're just on your toes and it's really uncomfortable and we had to do like a hundred of these. Well around like number 30 or 40 or so my freaking calves felt like they were going to just blow up. I was just like ah because you know I run a lot and my calves are really tight because I put so many miles on them and I was just like ah this hurts so bad. And it was funny because at that moment, our, our teacher, he said, you know, he said, breathe through that pain, see if you can do just a little bit more, and, um, you know, train yourself to be comfortable and smile through the discomfort. He actually said, put a smile on your face. And it was funny, it was like such a, um, a foreign thing to do, you know, because when you're in pain and it's hurting and you're like, ah, I just want to finish this, this sucks, this hurts, blah, 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 blah. To put a smile on your face actually triggers something totally different in you. And what I took away from this is, you know, oftentimes we're in such a rush to get through the discomfort that we forget to acknowledge the experience itself and appreciate what it is to grow us to get where we need to be. And one of the things this teacher said later on in the class also, he said, is you know, there's no heaven and there's no hell, at least in, in you know, Buddhism. And he was saying how um, really that discomfort, that hell, is really that gap, that misalignment that we have in order to move us into that more heavenly type of state. And as I thought back on what we were doing earlier with that frog pose, I was like, oh my gosh, like how often does this happen where I'm in such a rush to get out of this discomfort that I don't realize that it's just a growing experience for me to get to where I need to be. Now this translates so well to so many things in your life, Messenger, whether that's your finances, whether that's sharing your message, or whether that is doing anything that you want. There's always going to be this space of discomfort, this space of uneasiness, or maybe even space of pain. But that discomfort, that pain is actually serving you if you will allow it to. That space of pain is where growth will come for you. And I'm not talking about marinating in it and loving it. But what I am saying is like knowing that when that comes, that you can smile, you can put that smile on and appreciate going through that because it's the growth that you need to get to your own sense of heaven in that moment. So that was something that stuck out for me today. I wanted to share that with you. Now Messenger, one last thing, which is, hey, look, if you've been talking about getting this book written for a long time, then you know what, I wanna encourage you, strongly encourage you to consider getting it done at our Messenger Bootcamp event where we're gonna get your best-selling book written in three days and the exact blueprint to launching your book to bestseller status because Messenger, a message without a book does nothing. So anyway, there's a link below. You can go ahead and click on that, watch the video, find out all the details about it and apply for it and see if we can chat to get you at Messenger Bootcamp and finally liberate this message and share it with the people that you've been called to share. Because if that's a bit of pain and discomfort for you, it's time for some growth. Lots of love.